Hey, thanks again for watching Weekly Word. You know, last week we talked about how Jesus pulled away to spend time with the Father, uh, that there he found his strength uh, to do his ministry, to do his work. And I pose the question to you, if Jesus did that, what makes me, what makes you think that we don't need to do the same thing? You know, the, the issue of our spiritual life is, is that as much as God the Father wants and desires for us to grow spiritually, we need to remember that the evil one wants to stop that growth. He wants to derail our lives. It's interesting that Paul in Colossians talks to the church there about how they need to be rooted and built up, but he also uses this word. He says that we're moving forward in our faith. You know, if you're not moving forward in your faith, if you're not moving forward in your spiritual growth, if you're standing still, or maybe you're sitting, I can tell you, you make an easy target for the evil one. Paul talked about in Philippians, about how he is pressing on, how he's always moving forward. Can I ask you a, a question to think about? Are you growing spiritually? I don't know when it was maybe in your life that you came to know Christ and you walked through the door of salvation, but have you been, have you been moving? Have you been going a, a little bit further in that relationship? I had a friend of mine one time who did a sermon series about growing in Christ and he used the example of visiting somebody in their home. He talked about how we walk through the door of salvation, but do we just stay in the entryway? Or do we go over into the living room and sit with the Lord have a little bit of a deeper relationship? Or do we go even further than that and go into the family room and sit and watch TV and visit? And, and does Jesus look at us and we go even further than that and say, we say, I'm, I'm thirsty. And the Lord says, well, go into the kitchen, open the fridge, get a drink out, help yourself to the pantry. You see the idea? A deepening relationship, a deepening connection. Is that what your spiritual life is like? Are you growing in the Lord? Now, if you were honest, are you standing still? Are you stagnant? Have you given up? I find a lot of people give up because they think that they've got to work harder and harder and harder to grow spiritually. Let me tell you something. Jesus said two key phrases in the gospel. The first one is when he tells people, come to me. He says, come unto me, all ye who are labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I am humble and gentle of heart. But he also says in John 15, a key line. He says, abide in me. Come to me and abide in me. Let me tell you something. You come to salvation by grace, the grace of Jesus Christ. What he did for us, grace is unmerited favor, unmerited love that he demonstrated for us. I don't earn it, I don't deserve it, but he has given it to me. That's the way salvation comes. And let me tell you something, spiritual growth comes the same way. It's all a result of grace. It's all a result of abiding in him. And as you abide in him, as you live and practice life with him in every way and everything, and live under the umbrella of his grace and mercy, that your life spiritually grows. And when you grow by the grace of God, when you grow in the richness of his grace and love for you, then you are moving forward. And then you won't grow discouraged so quickly when you're trying to work for something that just doesn't seem to happen. Come to him, abide in him. And when you do, you will find growth in your life. You will find, like Paul said, pressing on, to up things, moving forward, and becoming more like Christ every day. That's my prayer for you, that your life, I hope you pray that for me, that my life would be more like Christ every single day. May God bless you. We'll see you next week.